Alliance tournament. Uh, I just want to share one thing before we get started here. Michael Bolton 3 just told us all that he owns a vibrator, but he only uses it to massage his legs when he's hungover. I'll let you figure out what that means as we get to the match. Right now we have Goon Swarm Federation, my personal favorites, versus Brick Squad. Uh, Goon Swarm has brought a Vindicator. Vindicators worked well last match. What do you think of these setups, Kill 2? I don't know. They're both pretty cool, but I, I'm kind of rooting for Brick. I kind of like their setup more. I guess it'll depend a bit on whether or not um, Goons are able to get anything tackled early. It looks like Goons came to the beacon at zero, of course, with the Vindicator, whereas Brick started at range, of course. And they have like lots of room to run right now, so it's kind of just going to be a matter of if they like mess up and get tackled early. And then after that, whether or not they can take care of the Goon Swarm uh, support and, and tackle. Goon Swarm before. is already in the lead with one point off to an early start. <laughs> uh, that's, of course, because Brick didn't field the full amount of points, not because something died, in case you're confused. Um, it looks like the Vindicator has managed to... I'm trying to, I'm trying to get zoomed in here in, in my messed up client. Looks like he's managed to tackle something. Um, yeah, they're very all... Fast, so well, they're on top of an Enyo right now. Um, Goon, wait, what is going on? I can't. Uh, there's like a little support fight going Goon on. Swarm, and you. Yeah, the little support yeah, fight. They're... But all the Goon Swarm ships are uh, armor tanks, and they're going to be wrapped by that Oniro. So just because his shield dropped so fast, don't count him out yet. Oh, hold on. I'm. I don't know. And Brick Squad's uh, scimitar just got tackled, which uh, could be very bad yeah. for them, especially if that Vindicator catches up with them. That's what I just noticed too. Oh, the scimitar. Okay, he's right there in that ball with the Vindicator and the Brudix. I don't know how I was having a hard time seeing that. Smart Bombs has cleared all the drones away now, so it's easier to see, but he is definitely pinned down by the Brudix and Vindicator, so that's certainly bad news for Brick Squad. However, for whatever reason, he's not taking a lot of damage yet. Uh, even though there's not even any e -war, there's no tracking disruption or anything going on on the Vindicator or the Brudix. So that might just be, like, complete SIG tanking of all that damage. I, I don't know why he's not taking more damage for the time being. Mm -hmm. Um... I don't either. It looks like they got newts on. <laughs> Scimitar is being neutered. Yeah, which uh, is of course important. You know, it's weird. I, I, I don't trust my client at all, but it doesn't look to me like the Scimitar is webbed. Yeah, he's not. He's scrammed. So he's he's basically orbit tanking, um, and with a really small sig. Okay, now he's webbed. So maybe now they'll actually. Yeah, the uh, Scimitar is. Uh, he's only moving about 50 meters per second. So once that Vindicator gets some guns on him, he's gonna die. Right, yeah, now he's slowed down. He was going about 200 before. There we go. Now they're able to track. Boom. So. There he goes. <laughs> yeah, that happened pretty quick once they got him slowed down. So I don't know why they were able to get that tackle so easily. I mean, maybe the um, Goon support, uh, the, the Incursuses and the Enyo were able to get in there without, um, you know, anything stopping them, which should have been, I guess, what the Daredevil and Hyena and Ishka were doing. But um, for whatever reason, that didn't happen. And... From here on out, it actually looks really good for goons. I wasn't so sure. Absolutely, it does. In, what, but, oh, they're the in goon, good shape. Goon swarm armor tanking is holding uh, wonderfully with that Oniro, so uh, repping everybody. Uh, without their scimitar, brick squad is just going to fall down at this point. I wonder where the uh, Talos DPS was earlier in the fight. Uh, they might have been, because you can see now they're able to do pretty decent damage to the goon Oniros now that the Taloses are actually shooting it. But I wonder if early on they were either shooting. Um, so maybe shooting the Enyo that had the tackle uh, on the Brick Scimitar to try to get him clear before he got tackled by the Vindicator, or if maybe, I mean, the Vindicator and Brutus have taken damage too, so maybe they were just trying to break those tanks through the Onero strapping, which obviously did not didn't. work for them at all. The uh, Brick Squad tacklers are chasing around that Oniros right now, and he is tackled. He's got a bunch of drones and everything. Uh, no, those are rep drones that are repping him. I think those rep drones are a big factor of the Goon Swarm tank right now. It seems but to be working pretty Brick good. lost the Talos, and with only one Talos left in their frigs, they are going to have a really hard time. They've actually gotten through the Oniros' shields, finally. They've actually gotten through all of the shields on the Goon Swarm's team, but Goon Swarm being an armor team, the Oniros could be a uh, shield tanked, but uh, the rest of them aren't any anywhere near being in danger. And now with just the one Talos left, who is webbed, uh, it's going to be not long before there's actually no DPS at all left on the field for Brick Squad. Yep, it's, uh, it's about time we saw some goons doing good in the tournament. The Goonstorm has a long history of just completely screwing up the tournament, not even for their flying the ships. Last year, we didn't get our entry fee paid to the right alliance. We paid two billion isk to the uh, CCP Engineering Alliance, which is some utility 
uh, alliance that CCP does stuff with. Uh, a couple years before that, we had too many points on the field and got disqualified. Uh, we're pretty much terrible at this. But once we get in, once we're flying around, we're doing good. Attaboy, bros. I'm bro-fisting you right now through the internet. Here it is, my bro-fist. I really hate to think about the way the rest of this tournament's going to be with you and Laz. If, like, oh, and imagine if tested well. Be oh, quite, it's going to be wonderful. Uh, so far today, yeah. all of the Alliance tournament, or uh, all the CFC teams in the Alliance tournament have done terrible. Uh, Goon Swarm is the first one to win today, so we're turning this ship around. Your next test. Don't fail. Pretty me. cool if Vindicators win back to back matches. That's actually so unusual and really, really awesome. It's as if the Vindicators have been vindicated. Oh, I went there. Good job. <laughs> so Vindic just these two support ships left to go. Daredevil uh, going down right now, and an Ishker will be right after that. Um, we should talk a little bit about Merlins. I saw a post someone asking what the deal is with Merlins being so popular. Um, Blasters. Because they really... Yeah, they're, they got a change, right? They did a frig rebalance recently so that a lot of the... Um, newer ships you get into in the game are stronger and got rebalanced and Merlin's one of them and it benefited a lot. It has four mids which is really good for the tournament and it does a lot of damage with blasters so it's a really really great use of the uh, couple points it costs to field and um, and it's yeah that's why why we're seeing a lot of them and if you're new to EVE or you're thinking of playing EVE uh, and you see a lot of these Merlin's that's a ship you can fly day one and so is the Incursus which is another one that's on the field right now so on my first day in EVE when I joined Goon Swarm, I was presented with a Merlin. It was my very first ship, and they have a very near and dear special place in my heart. I love them. So it looks like that uh, that last Brick Squad ship is dead. Brick Squad completely bricked. Goon Swarm domination. Attaboy. Woo! Good to see. Uh, with that, that ends this match. And Rated M for Mature.